Have you ever seen the billboards of toppers of IIT or NEET entrances in your city? We are sure you might have. To get the best coaching, which churns out toppers, parents spend lakhs of rupees. Yet, the overall result is close to 1%. Despite working so hard, many students tend to fail miserably. Why does this happen? Well, the answer lies in your primary education. Most of the parents might have heard from teachers to strengthen their child's fundamentals. However, very few parents and students know what learning actually is. Problem is, most of the parents feel that the better marks means better knowledge. What they don't realize is that the format of school's exam is to test their memory and not knowledge. The real test of knowledge are tests like Olympiads and National Talent Search Examination NTSC. These are the exams conducted by the government bodies. A student scoring 95% at school but failing in Olympiads is the evidence of what is lacking in our current education system. Unfortunately, very few parents take this seriously. So how do we learn better? There are two simple steps of learning. The first is understanding and the second is practice. However, every child is different and teachers at school cannot pay attention to each child. That is where the digital way of learning comes into picture. Let's see how this is happening. How is digital changing the way our kids learn? Audio visuals. There are three types of learners, textual learners, visual learners and contextual learners. Textual learners are those who can understand just by reading. Visual learners are those who learn by watching. Contextual learners are those who understand by reading along with observing the practical application of that concept. According to the research, 65% of the people are visual learners. This is the reason schools have opted for audiovisual learning. Comparative learning. Comparative learning helps a child think and learn laterally. This helps them in all subjects, especially the social sciences. It shows us the key headlines of similar notions. Then, with the help of those headliners, they show us the roadmaps and the destiny of those notions. Once that is understood, only the variables such as date, events, people associated etc. change. Everything else remains the same. Such an innovative learning style has the potential to become the building blocks of the students who have entered into civil services. Self-reliance Due to a better level of understanding, students take interest in learning by themselves. This helps them in doing self-study regularly. This makes them self-reliant. Not only does this habit help them in academics, but also in all walks of life. Although, digital has become a backbone in a child's overall learning, it has few shortcomings. Too much of digital learning can cause damage to the eye. This somewhere tells us that parents too need to be responsible in their child's learning and regulate their pattern. Therefore, digital learning and responsible parenting together can help make a child's foundation great.